Interesting. So, yeah. so can, does he still have super duper sight with that one eye? Absolutely. He just doesn't have the depth perception that he right. has to right. catch a moving target in the woods. Do you have to feed him or can he get his own targets? He can get his own food okay. as long as it, it's staying still. Right. And he knows his way around his own enclosure now right. that he's got the muscle memory for it. Right. But if you were to put him in a new space, he would miss and he'd just not be able to have the... Right. Is he pretty tame? Get around. We wouldn't ever call them tamed. They're always going to be wild animals, but they are trained to be in public, be comfortable with kind of interaction and, and yeah. Sit nicely on a glove and not try to fly away the whole time. It does take a little <laughs> bit of time to get him to that point. That's cool. If y'all are around here tomorrow, we're actually releasing one of our rehabilitated birds. The red-tailed hawk. It's going to be at noon at the playground. And you feed him Tootsie Pops, right? Like he licks the Tootsie Pops <laughs> all the way down to the middle. But he never gives me an answer. <laughs> no, they actually eat mice mostly. They right. eat all kinds of um, different animals. We try to get in as much of a variety as we can. And the local hunters help us a lot with that. How old is he? Um, he is at least five by now. Um, they turn a fully adult at two years old. And we've had him for three years, and he was an adult when we got here. But they can live up to 25. It's pretty difficult to age them once they've already hit adulthood. Right. Some pretty distinct differences between the young ones and the adults. But once they get their adult flight feathers in and body feathers, they're they're pretty tricky to tell. Would you mind being touched? We're not allowed to let people touch him. What? is the best way to cook him? Like what sauces <laughs> would you need? About the same way you do bald eagle. <laughs> <laughs> is, yeah, he, is he in danger or is he just like a normal wood owl? He's not in danger. These are actually some of the most common ones. Oh, are they? You okay. Find around here. You guys will probably hear them tonight if you're up in our campground. Right. The ones that sound like you're saying, who cooks for you? <laughs> the long seven tone who Yeah. Um, and they talk quite a lot. These are one of the few birds of prey that are actually Really? Together in big family groups. Huh. Quite a lot of talking in the woods. Do you speak their language? I have <laughs> attempted. It is very bad. The owl whisperer. <laughs> the hoot whisperer. Yeah. Oh. He's so is he hot? Is that why he's A little hot? bit. Yeah, he's starting to pan. He gets a little bit stressed. I may have to put him up if he does it for more Is he scared more. of us? He's scared of my camera. Well, he does these programs a lot, but with it being so hot right yeah. now, they, they, you know, their tolerance kind of goes down. Cool. Aren't there some other creatures here? There are. We've got a red-tailed hawk up here. Her name is Cleo, and she's got an injured wing. We've got a great horned owl in the front cage. His name is Oscar. He's very grouchy. He is um, an imprinted bird. He's one that we found when he was too young to take care of himself on his own. He'd been pushed out of the nest. Okay. And we had to raise him here, and he just got a little too used to getting his meals brought to him. <laughs> he got lazy. He's on welfare now. Got lazy. Look, he, he's got him a chunk of meat. Look at that guy. He got him a damn Look steak. He got a steak, dude. A chunk of meat. See it? Yeah. Owls don't have balls. You see those two things on their head? That's their balls. <laughs> His eyes are so yellow. He's doing an impersonation of Louis Armstrong. <laughs> see, his, see his neck? Uh -huh. Giblet. The flies are getting their food. Eat that food. Eat that steak. The owls are not what they seem. Way to go, Coop. Dude's like, dude, like. He's so hot. Mmm, we got a, fle a fresh pound of rat. <laughs> You say, how come you don't think I'm funny? But you think I am funny. I do. But when you laugh at my jokes, I say, why are you laughing? 
<laughs> and then when you don't love, my jokes will say, why aren't you laughing? Yep. And then you say, why are you laughing? Because I'm Alaska. Because I'm Alaska. Be quiet. Besides the going pee pee. We are here in my hometown of Paris at the winery, which obviously Paris, Tennessee is where you think of when you think of fine Italian wines, right? Tennessee is known for their Italian wines. It's not bad, actually. And their grapes. This is about me, Jamie. This is about my hometown my story it's a documentary about me it's right. me as a star so it needs to focus on me choco one mom you choco one mom this is your idea i'm just trying to have fun I'm trying to make the best of it <laughs> choco choco wine it jinko i know this is I was drinking the wine and I thought of you and I was told and I was weeping. <laughs> I was weeping. I was weeping and I was thinking of you. I fell down drinking the wine. <laughs> drink a wine, drink I a like wine. I like how you use a straw. I never drink wine out of a straw before. Well, that's why you're in Paris, Tennessee. <laughs> your wine, you can also get your wine in a Slurpee if you want. Mm. <laughs> so, what was the question you wanted to ask me? did Paris, Tennessee get its name? It's French Revolutionary due to eliminate confirm. It's named after Lafayette from the French Revolution. So Henry County is named after Patrick Henry, who was one of the sons of liberty of the revolution. That was one of the secret societies, the revolutionary secret societies they had. And then Paris, Tennessee is based on the actual French Revolutionaries. So we have a literal Illuminous pedigree here because the French Revolution is quite literally from the Luminous. It's Adam Bishop, and then they were kind of the proto-communists in terms of the Jacobins and so forth. Would you say you are one of the Illuminati families of Paris, Tennessee? One could say that. One could say that. Um, that's why we have the one-eyed owl that you just saw. <laughs> he represents the forces of Bohemian Grove and he has an all-seeing eye, just one eye. So that's the history of Paris and Henry County. What do you think of that? Cool. Did you know Tennessee also founded Texas? So we are the Tennessee Volunteers because the Tennessee boys volunteered to go down there and help Jones set up uh, Texas. What you gurgling, burgle cut? We are in Paris. So we need to be sophisticated. Burgle cut. Burgle it. Gurgle it. Gurgling one long. Are you ready for a real taste of Tennessee? Did you ever expect that you could see people of Walmart outside? We are seeing people of Walmart in their natural habitat. Natural habitats. Yeah. You ready for this? La y'all is like, what's Tennessee like, dude? What is your home small town like? I'm going to show you. It's crazy. We are going to Redneck Arts and Crafts Festival. Literally, that's what it is. Because this has been here since I was a kid. So I'm going to show you a taste of the South. Especially all you weirdo Orthodox people from other countries. All you Arab Orthodox people and you weird Tur Turkish people. What's up? Shout out Turkish peeps. Shout out to Discord boys. What's up, Discord? Ha <laughs> ha! What's up? I grew up next to this hotel, the Lake Hotel, and uh, when I come back, it's completely dozed over. Like 70 AD level dozed over. Uh, so I never will get to see the hotel that I grew up with. I didn't grow up in the hotel, losers. But it's all gone. But here we are at Kentucky Lake Park. This is my old stomp grounds. My old stomp grounds. If you've seen that movie Stomp, this is what I would come out here and do. Stomp. Stomp grounds. 
my mama used to be the lifeguard at that pool and now we're going to the arts and crafts festival of peopleofwalmart.com outside my metal detector is with me all of the time i'm the inspector over the mine <laughs> I'm the horse whisperer. Did you just pull that snake out of your pocket? He did, he did. Tell you you pulled that snake out of your pocket? He loves little pockets. <laughs> That's his favorite hiding spot. What? How many snakes you got in those other pockets? I'm not telling. <laughs> what else you got in here? We do have another little snake here. His name's Sunshine. It's a little western hog so nose snake. This is Sunshine. He's a western hog nose. Oh yeah? <laughs> so you can see his nose at the tip. It kind of looks like a little pig. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. So one of these guys' main defec um, defense okay. mechanisms is that they'll actually flip over and play dead. If they're oh really? So. Look what I got. Interesting. Uh-oh. That's Albert. He's a rat snake. Now that's out of the Bible. You ever read the Bible? Don't touch them. The Bible says... <laughs> Them's the devil. He's so cute. He has their awfully cuddly. Brown eyes that need to stay Exactly. Very good. See, I know. I like this fish. Oh, there's a little fish. Oh, there's a little fish. Oh, there's a little fish. My mom or my dad or and then we decide to keep Uh, you know, during the summer, we try to work in the kitchen. Saucy! Hey. Why'd I, I crack you up? Why? Because I was being sassy and I had to go to the bathroom and you told no, me to go. What? Go pee out your sass. I said piss out all that sass, girl. <laughs> yeah. A social justice vagina hat. No, you wouldn't. Yes, I would. No, you wouldn't. Yes, I would. Are you taking pictures? Can I take a picture of that? Yeah, you can, for sure. <laughs> Did you think that one up? Is that your joke? Uh, yeah, that's not good. <laughs> Are you serious? It is? No, I saw it on the internet. I was looking up. Different art. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I'll okay. The three fates. The three hippie fates. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Like, I'm just thinking, like, one, one might like one thing, uh -huh. and the picture, you know, <coughs> Kaylee, some of them, I hand them a peanut butter sandwich, they'll smell that, like, is he real? Oh, no, is he, is he a remote either. control? Is he remote control or is he real? What is he remote control or is he real? <laughs> remote, remote control. Is he real or is he remote control? <laughs> <laughs> no one's ever seen a real monkey before. I have. Oh, no. really? Most of us have it all the time. One that sits on the table. We fed it fries a couple weeks ago. <laughs> you have a good day. Okay, you do. It's so cute. He should be here. He or it is. Aww. I think it's like it on your one in Martin. It's there must be girl. something there I can eat. Oh, my goodness. Is he a good pet? He's shot. He monkeys are never yeah. shot. Lord, that murdered like a kid. Oh, yeah. Lord. I know everything like a kid. That's like my two cats and my dog. They're oh, so yes. much smarter than a cat or a dog. I've got cats and dogs too. Are oh, they dying? Oh, my goodness. Aww. Got a stick. What do they eat? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so I feed mine monkey chow in the morning. I, I buy three times and I mix it together. And at night I fix everybody's sandwiches. <laughs> well, I don't know. Do you hurt? Oh, come on. Oh, he's, oh. Like, he's liking you. Well, I know you. Oh. 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 I'm talking to you when he does that. Oh, oh, oh. You know her, don't you? Oh, aren't you pretty? I think you're saying no. What's she don't name? feed me. That's what she's saying. Willis? Willis? 
Willis. <laughs> hey, Willis. <laughs> hey, Willis. Hey, Willis. Hey, Willis. Hey, Willis. Hey, Willis. Here's the bridge. This is the bridge that Nathan jumped off of to get chicks. And it worked, except that I'm pretty sure I think Nathan destroyed his cockix. And if you destroy your cockix, what's the point of getting chicks with no cockix? And I, I literally mean the cockix bone. I was trying to interview the Amish dude because a lot of people don't know. Uh, that there's a lot of Amish and Mennonite in Tennessee. A lot of people have never seen Amish and Mennonite people. And what's funny is that people think these groups are holy, that they're holier than everybody else, and they're not. Right? I mean, maybe it's good that they don't have all the modern degeneracy, per se, or that they don't take vaccines, but actually those groups are super, super cultic and ridiculous. So the dude I was talking to, he didn't want to be on camera because he thought his soul was going to be taken away or stolen or something if he gets on, on an image in, in a camera. <laughs> but... Uh, I asked him, I said, do you want to be on camera or you, do, you, are you, do you believe it's wrong? And he said, oh, no. <laughs> but what's interesting is that they come out of the Radical Reformation. A lot of people don't know the origin of Amish and Mennonites. And the Amish are really extreme. They're, they're the hardcore. The Mennonites, Mennonites are the liberals. And the Mennonites will use some technology. So they'll mow your yard and whatnot with a lawnmower but the Amish that's who you see in the horse and the buggies and they think the technology itself is of the devil and what's funny is that the Amish the most holy supposedly are the ones that used to always steal my dad's mail <laughs> my dad lived on the country and there's these two Amish dudes that would always steal his mail so it was a growing cancerous problem so are you woke to the AQ the Amish question. The Radical Reformation. If you're not aware of this, this is a... The Radical Reformation, if you're not aware of this, this is the branch of the Reformation different from the Protestant Reformers like Calvin and Luther and Zwingli. There was actually another branch called the Radical Reformers, the Anabaptists, the Rebaptizers, and all these different bunch of weirdos. And that's actually where the Mennonites and the Amish spring from. Modern Baptists are like third degree removed liberals from the Amish and Baptist types. And then you get the Mennonites, who are more liberal than the Amish. The Mennonites will use tractors and cell phones. The Amish won't use zippers, because zippers are of the devil. Satan invented, invented your fly to make easy access for your parts. That's Amish theology, in a nutshell. Just a little bit of history coming from a former third degree liberal Baptist X, 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 X fourth generation removed Mennonite Jay's analysis what do you think of that? Good. welcome to the park welcome to the gallery of the wee park we have the we have in the belly the wee little enfant tower, the gay little park, the gay little Paris. We also have the tonka trucks for the little boys to dig the revolutionary. We. Oui. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Woo. We got a big old catfish, yeah. A big old catfish in my town. My town's got a big old catfish, yeah. Don't try to touch it now. It's gonna feel real slimy now. Except it's not because it's not real. We got a fish fry too. Don't be my boo and go to the fish fry, yeah. Cause it's not for you It's for all the trashy people The trashy people In my hometown My hometown's got a lot of catfish people, yeah 
We're gonna break our own catfish! Gonna break our own catfish in our town! Don't try to come to my town with a catfish! Um, yeah! Ooh. In my hometown, baby! In my hometown, we got a payday loan, baby. It's a nasty little payday loan. Pay me one dollar after you get your check from Pizza Hut, baby. Just one dollar after you owe me after a week, baby. At the payday loan, you got a job at the payday loan. And my girl work at Pizza Hut In my hometown We got a catfish sign too In my hometown And a little bitty apple toe I want it all Cause a payday loan don't pay for an apple tower baby But your pizza hut check will. I want it all, and we got it all in my hometown. You could get your new life with a little bit of corporate Jesus in my hometown. In my hometown. Let me tell you now. Got dry cleaners and gas station burritos. Uh, in my hometown, uh, we got a big old catfish, uh, and a little bit of apple towel, uh, in my hometown, baby, and a fish fry too. Don't touch those fried fish, baby. Only touch me. I'm your fried fish. Pizza Hut, baby. I'm tired of paying off all the other debts. <laughs>